Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with my daughter, Morgan. Hello, everybody. I know some of you, uh, we forget to say that. We just assume that they know you're my daughter, but a lot of people <laughs> ask me. <laughs> really? Yeah, and they and I said, and I think, oh, I guess I don't make that obvious, but but they, they kind of assume that, so that's good. Yeah, I think I say dad. I think you do. <laughs> that's probably where it comes from, right? Because yeah. I don't say daughter. No. <laughs> So we're glad to be with you this Saturday, and thank you for joining us on the show. And we will take your calls live at 737-1200. And that can be about anything in remodeling or construction. Uh, a lot of you ask questions when I meet you, but you can ask them here. And I try to bring those questions to the audience on this show so that more of you can uh, get your common questions answered. And so the, the one that I get a lot of questions about that I haven't talked about lately is opening it up. So the topic of today is, you know, taking down walls and opening up. We're going to talk about the, the common ones that need to be done. How hard is it? How much does it cost? What do you need to be aware of? And so forth. So I hope you, you'll, you know, you'll ask any questions if you have them at 737-1200. And... Uh, we're going to talk about our first safe tip. Yes. So we've talked about this one before, but I thought it was a good time to remind everyone because, you know, where we've been at home for a while, you may be doing some projects yourself. And if you are tackling those projects yourself, you need to remember to get your inspections. Even if you're DIYing some remodeling um, and all of that, because it is, the city of San Antonio is cracking down and they're still doing it. So you could end up possibly having to take it all out to prove the inspection um, to get it inspected. So it's a very dangerous thing. You also need to be making sure that your remodeler, if you hired someone to do it, that they get the inspections. And we do all of that ourselves. Um, our project managers hire and get all the inspections together but it's just a very serious thing and it is being the city of San Antonio is really cracking down on it so we need to be careful but that, remember that is very true that it, they're cracking down on it and um, you know even like you say with, with plumbing mm -hmm. even though they may not be able to follow up on that uh, as easily because there's so many hundreds of these uh, busted pipes mm -hmm that you're just going to take a little bit um, you're going to take a risk that it's going to happen and leak again and of course that's going to be a major problem if it leaks again yep so you just really want to do that and if you need references you all can call us at our office at 680-5626 mm -hmm. and we can give you referrals and you can uh, get on their list of good uh, licensed plumbers mm -hmm. but always go with the full service of inspections and permits Yes. It's not worth it. And by the way, one of the fears, you know what they have of people getting permits? That their taxes are going to go up. Yeah, and that doesn't happen. Your taxes are going to go up. Uh, if you add square footage, even if you tried to get by without doing a permit, which would be very likely you would get busted, mm -hmm. uh, even if you did get by with it, the tax appraisers don't don't really care about the, uh, the permits. They're just going to see from the Google and the uh, global satellites like that Google you have Earth. added square footage to your home. Mm -hmm. They do the drive-bys and they have all of that Google, the uh, Google Earth Google Earth, and they use those. When you go in to try to reject, uh, try to refute your taxes, they'll pull all that up. <laughs> and I've already been in there and they have all of your screenshots of your house and everything from top and, and mm -hmm. sides. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> so, so they know what they're doing and you're not going to get around it no. if you think that inspections are going to weigh you're wrong. And, and I can tell you from personal experience that we've improved our home and our taxes never went up because of, of making a interior, interior improvements. improvements. No, mm -hmm. it doesn't. In fact, I've gotten to go down because I show them pictures of other places in the house that are not improved. And so they say, okay. <laughs> but that's going to come to an end pretty soon because we'll have it all fixed. Everything's going to be improved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, a great safety tip. Don't think of it as safety, but it is. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about this opening it up. And again, you can call us at 737-1200 if you have any questions. We'll be glad to take you live. And Morgan has them on Facebook and Instagram. She monitors mm -hmm. that. 
And so why would you want to open up walls? Uh, why would you want to tear down walls and make things more open? What do you think the number one reason is? Because it makes your space feel bigger. Yeah, it really does. It changes the way you use these rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, one of, I'd say the, one of the most common problems we have in homes that I remodel, that I, that people call me for, but if I were to say, this is what people say more often than anything, it is everybody comes into the kitchen when we have people over. Yeah. That's probably the most common complaint I hear about their home. Yeah. And, you know, and, and it's kind of a, an interesting way they're saying it. It's not like they they don't want the people in there, but it's just not easy to function. It gets crowded, it's and so you can crowded. tell that they love their families and their friends, but they, how can I solve that? I mean, it's like they all want to be around the kitchen. Yep. And so that is the way we live, um, and especially in gatherings, but we do it on a daily basis too. We, we gather around the source of food, and so so people will gather toward food and drink, and and if somebody's preparing something, they want to be part of the of what's going on. So that's one real big reason is people want the living areas connected to the eating areas, and even if they're, you know, they're separate, but they don't have to be blocked off. Yes. And so that's the number one request we get for open, for for people wanting to change it. Now, a lot of times people want to remodel the kitchen. And they don't even tell me about about opening it up to the to the living room, <laughs> and and you know why? Because they think it's going to be expensive. Yeah, they just think that's probably forbidden. <laughs> forbidden. They're, they think it's 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 probably not possible. They'll yeah. actually say those words. Well, I, we were told it wasn't possible. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it's possible. Anything is possible. Let's get that out there first. <laughs> and the second thing is 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 it going to be difficult? Well, maybe maybe not. And we need to look at that. Mm -hmm. But, but that's one of the, the reasons that we are talking about this is because people don't know if it can be done or how much it costs. And so one of the reasons you want to open up things is like we said, it changes the way you live. And that can be true in other rooms as well. You might want to take out a, well, like in yours, we were talking about in your home, mm -hmm. take out the wall that divides the, maybe the, well, we, we've seen it in, in, in small bathrooms where there's a wall for the toilet mm -hmm. and doors and you have to get to the tub through a door mm -hmm. and if you just take all that out it makes it feel bigger like you oh, were saying yeah. even in small bathrooms taking out a few walls putting in some glass mm -hmm. it, it just makes everything feel so much bigger light transfers better sound actually can can be better sometimes by removing walls mm -hmm. um, it can just it can you can hear each other better from the next room. So there's acoustical reasons. There's even even uh, airflow issues that can be solved. And of course, the big one is the visual. Mm -hmm. And I always often ask people, how would you like for everybody to think that you made an addition to your home, made it bigger, mm -hmm. but you didn't? And so that's a big big reason. You're gonna feel like you got you know one thing that's on most sides of a wall that's invisible to most people is a walk space. Yes. And you know what's on the other side of that wall? A walk space. A walk space. <laughs> and so you get two walk spaces in two rooms. When you yep. combine it to one room, you have one walk space, in many cases a pathway that can be used for both rooms, therefore you gain space. Mm -hmm. Usable space. It's awesome. Yeah. So we're going to talk more about where you can do this and how you can do it and how much it costs. But before we go, we want to mention the maids and they are the official cleaning service of KM Builders so if you give them the code KM Builders you can have $25 off your first clean especially with this muddy weather you can make your home sparkle for next week's beautiful weather give them a call at 210-822-2526 or look them up at maids.com slash 211 we'll be right back to the KM Builders remodeling and design show Get out of your present car and start the... Keith, can you turn her up a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, what, what do you want uh, the uh, name for today? Uh, open it up. Open it up? Uh -huh. Thanks. So what I'll do is turn me down. Mm -hmm. And then I'll... 
that'll turn me down in my ears. Oh, okay. What's he doing now? Making a cocoon mm -hmm. out of a tarp. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? You got a tarp to keep you warmer. You wouldn't think of that, right? I guess you would if you were freezing. Yeah. But covering your head yes. is important. Uh -huh. I cannot sleep with my head covered. Mom can sometimes, but man, I just get too hot. Oh yeah, probably. Well, what I noticed, do y'all have that th um, that blanket in between your quilt and your um, sheet? That like fuzzy almost? Not yeah, anymore? Got rid of that. Man, that thing is warm. You have it upstairs? Yeah. And it was so, it's a weird feeling because there's not a weight on you, but it's the, but you're really warm. And that's all you need. Yeah. When I used to use it, mom would put that in a comforter. Uh-huh. And I, I could never sleep with it in the comfort. I would just have that and the, uh, and sheet. the, black, the sheet. Yeah. yeah. That was enough for me. I always had to throw that back mm -hmm. uh, onto her in the middle of the bed. Mm-hmm. That's all I needed, and I didn't really like it when she went to the full heavy comforter because it's even warmer than that. Oh, really? Yeah, but then we got the uh, chili pads. Chili pads, and it was fine. Then I, I like weight on me, and so it it this, this is weird. <laughs> it's like I need weight, but no, it's too hot. Yeah. To well, you can take it off and use the other. Might well, be enough. Either way, it doesn't have weight. Like, there's no comforter. It's just a quilt up there, so. You need that because the quilt would be so cold. Right. I think so. What's our Who? our in, our intro sponsor? Oh, Elite Lighting. Oh. Hmm. Matter. I needed a review. Four point two looks good, huh? Mm-hmm. Are we working on some of these great clients to get reviews, or did we stop doing that? We, I send them a link every time yeah. after a photo shoot, so yeah. Do you emphasize it to them, talk mm -hmm. to them about it, and they say they'll do it, mm -hmm. and they don't? I think we need to have a follow-up process on that, Morgan. Okay. You should have, you should have Sarah do that after every, or send, your, send yourself a reminder yeah. on the calendar. Like 48 hours, mm -hmm. put an appointment on in your calendar that does it for both. Okay. And then you would go and send them an email. Okay. And say, uh, or, or text might even be better. And put it in the text the next time. Mm -hmm. I think it would work better if it was in the text from the first time. Turn it up and say. <laughs> Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with my daughter, Morgan. Hello, everybody. So we want to mention our sponsor, Elite Lighting Designs, who've lit up my house. But even more fun to me was lighting up the trees. <laughs> and if you'd like to see a beautiful landscape or a beautiful home at night, call 210-573. Zero five nine four five seven three zero five nine four. I'm missing a contact today, so it's making uh, it tough. Or look them up at EliteLightingDesigns.com. Yep. And you wanted to share something? Yes, our client testimonial of the week. This one's from Google, from Mr. Ellie, and he says, "All of the people who worked on my project were professional and dedicated to quality. I am extremely pleased with the finished product." I highly recommend KM Builders for any project you may be considering. That sounds so formal. I know. But so nice. Yes. But and that sounds like Mr. Ellie, right? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's cool. He's got that beautiful garage for his boat and all of his fishing supplies and tackle. He's got that thing so organized. Oh, yeah. And that, remember that uh, air conditioner in it, the mm -hmm. mini split? And the attic. Oh, yeah. That's a cool garage. <laughs> uh, okay, so we were talking about opening it up. 
and that means removing walls in most cases. There's other ways to open things up like ceilings that are too low, but we're focusing today more on what does it take, why would you want to open up, where can you open up, and take out walls. Mm -hmm. and, and I know some of you are really thinking about that, and if you have any questions, you can call us live at 737-1200. And some of you are, didn't think of it because you just don't think it's doable, or it seems like too much of a big of a job. But it's not that hard to do. Let me say this at the beginning, that it's not rocket science. <laughs> Taking out a wall is not rocket science. And I can show you homes that were built like yours without the wall in it, so obviously it can be done. And we can probably show you homes like yours where we took it out, and so obviously it can be done after it's built. Mm -hmm. And so don't be scared about that. Um, where you want to do it is or anywhere where you want to be connected better with the next room. So we did it in your house where we, we want to take out some closets. Mm -hmm. and changed the closet from one side of, of from one room to the other room so we made the opening mm -hmm. in the new room and closed off the other opening in the other room yep. and that's a simple one but like we said even in bathrooms there's too many doors too many walls lights not passing through the, the shower seems too dark get rid of those walls and make it feel bigger in there mm -hmm. you can use glass for partitions that give the and they can be obscure, semi-obscure, and still give semi-privacy, but light passes through. Uh, so, walls between dining rooms and kitchens? Yes, that's another common one. Between dining room and kitchens, and kitchens to living rooms even. Mm -hmm. Dining rooms to living rooms. These mm -hmm. are very, very common. Um, let's see, where else? We've even done, well, like, you know how some galley kitchens have a utility room right next to them and then the garage? Mm -hmm. And I know the Evans right across the street from us. Um, we took out the wall between the kitchen and the utility and extended the kitchen right into the utility. Oh. And it became part of the kitchen. Oh. And then we put the utility in the garage yep. and built a little wall around it. And so it still is a walled in utility, but the kitchen just grew bigger. Yep. But you have to take out that wall to make that work. And then also the wall from the outside to the inside, like the patio, taking that out and putting in a huge door system is like taking yeah. out a wall. Yeah, that's right. And remember the one we love? Uh, for Hummel. Hummel. Mm -hmm. the, one that, the one that we took out the, the, some of the walls to the patio mm -hmm. and built it out a little further and took out structural walls. Yeah. Yep. So even sometimes patio walls can be taken out, like you said, and you just enclose the patio. Because glass doors are not structural. No. <laughs> glass doors are not structural, but you put structure over them, right? Yep. And that's what we did there. So there's a lot of places that you can put structural walls. Mm -hmm. I mean, remove walls. And so we want to make this clear that just because they may be supporting structural walls, or we call them load-bearing, mm -hmm. they're the same thing. Structural walls, load-bearing walls, can be removed. And there's typically two ways that you that you will solve that, make it look, once you, you've taken it out. One way is where it's completely invisible that there was ever anything there. That's the obviously the way that most people would like. But in the other example, you'll put a beam across there, which we call a large header or beam, and that carries the weight in place of the wall. But that is not in the ceiling. That's that's below the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the other way is getting that beam up into the ceiling and it disappears. Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful because it looks like it never was there and that's probably how it would have been designed new. But for, a, for a, a, usually a considerably less price, you can pull that header down. And in some cases, it's just really cost prohibitive to put it up into the ceiling because it's a uh, maybe a second floor mm -hmm. above you and it's blocking off all the electrical and plumbing. If you if you did that, you'd have to cut it all out and redo all of it. And sometimes AC, air conditioning ducts and so forth are running through there. And you just really can't do it without major remodeling. Mm -hmm. So in, in the, on, the, on the good side, it usually runs $3,000 more to push it up into the ceiling. So you did just save yourself some money. <laughs> yeah. If they don't put it in the ceiling. Right. <laughs> so let's say on, a, on, a, on the most conservative level, mm -hmm. you, you want to open up a wall 
it's going to cost you three thousand dollars on the small side it could be a lot more but on sometimes it's as little as three to put a header there take that wall out and, and especially if it's a non-load bearing wall non-structural you could do it for three thousand or less but on if you go up into the ceiling with the structure in a structural wall, you're usually adding about three thousand to do it that way. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if it does. You know how you've seen people with like little openings. That's how they remove the wall. It's like they cut an opening into the wall. Uh -huh. Is that the cheapest? So do you mean does like? Does that make a difference? Like it's a like a counter. No, it has like a window. Yeah. They make has, a window out of it. Yes, but it's. But you can walk through it. Oh, you can walk it through it. It has little, little um, yeah. on the sides. Yeah, so you're saying that they didn't take it completely out on each side. It's got a little mm -hmm. bit of the wall left on each side. And the beam. Yeah, and that sometimes does save money when you do it that way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it looks good, and sometimes it's just like, well, you like, can tell there was a wall there. Yes. <laughs> there's a re way and place to do that properly, and then there's times when it just looks like, well, the person didn't know well, how to you build. cheaped out. You cheaped out. <laughs> and a lot of times it isn't a lot more expensive to tear that out completely if you know what you're doing. Okay. But not everybody is comfortable taking it all the way from wall to wall. They don't know the techniques that are needed, the types of hangers, mm -hmm. the types of uh, attachments on the beams and so forth. So there's a lot of tricks to it. It's a structural framing issue. And of course, as a lot of you know, that's what I did for many, many years, structural framing. So for me, it's, it's something where I really enjoy doing but we're going to talk about how to do that. What's the steps you go through to do it in a structural situation and a non-structural situation? Obviously, the latter is easier. But before we do that, we're going to talk about our sponsor, Frank's Paint and Body Shop. He's, I think, next week the Hellcat goes into him. Ooh, and I get all those little paint chips, road <laughs> chips, um, fixed on the front, and it's going to be immaculate. And I'll tell you, Frank does an awesome job. He's already worked on our Lexus. You need to look him up. At, call him at 210. Nine, I can't see it. Yeah, 210-927-3410. Yeah, my contact for reading close is out today. <laughs> One more time. 210-927-3410. All right, so y'all call Frank, and if you want any touch-ups done on your car or even major body, uh, auto body work done and full paint jobs, he does it all at Frank's Paint and Auto Body. And we'll be right back to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show after the news. This is News Radio 1200 WOA. I got some drops for my eye from Robert. Done? Oh. Robert done. Is he a. He said it expired last year, but I said, oh, it'll still be good. Yeah. We'll it's see. looking a little bit better. It's not as red. It's orange now. Yeah. Well, the sty is really showing, mm -hmm. which I think means that it's not it's as swollen. swollen. Uh, yeah. I think it happened because my allergies had been bothering me and I had been touching my eye for the tearing. Yeah. He it's says touching, he's, he, touching, was, touching. he was suspecting it in my contact list. I said, no. I said I've never had a problem with a contact. I Is said, he a ophthalmologist or what? No, he's a RN. Oh, okay. And he knows so much. Yeah, about yeah. Medicine. He's really good. <laughs> and he's always willing to talk to friends. He just jumps right in there. Oh, how nice, right? See those wrecks on I-35 in Fort Worth when the ice storm hit? Yes. We were looking at them, weren't we? Together, me and you? Uh, I, it was at work when I was mm -hmm. looking at them. 
It was horrible. Man, watching those things. Oh yeah, I think we were with Tara. Justin showed me. No, we were with Jaime, right? And and them at the lunch. <gasps> Excuse oh, me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shut up. I know this is dumb. I'm like. Because so many people are in Poly trying to recover from Valentine's that they didn't get. Oh. Oh, that's why. Uh huh. You didn't get the relationship. I think. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Because they didn't do it. That was the first freeze. Could you survive tonight? Nine. Hey, I need to get to find a way to subscribe to that. That's the new series I want to start watching. Probably uh, on one of the uh, services, right? Probably. Can you look it up? What am I going to do next? Uh, Bio Green? Uh-huh. Look at his hair. Ooh. He's got really long hair. Yeah, he is so cool. I can see, I can see if I were really going to work this thing, I would do that just once. It's on the Weather Channel. I know it is, but how do I, what can I watch the Weather Channel for free? Or not for free. It's going to take an investment. Yeah. Training, hiring, whatever it takes. Because mm -hmm. Bob and I were talking about it. And, and yeah, we don't have that many people who demand it. Yeah. But here's my thinking is they will start demanding once somebody else has it. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah, that's true. You're gonna be you, can you see this? Well, you have to ask any if any of them can do that first, yes. yeah, you I know. know? Because they might be able to. I mean, it would be neat if you had somebody so incredibly artistic they could go with every job uh -huh. at the beginning and say, what about this and this and this and this? Uh -huh. Or maybe even with me. Uh -huh. some of my jobs anyway. Yeah. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with my daughter Morgan. Hello, everybody. And I want to mention our something that you're going to be needing <laughs> soon, and that is 
a long treatment. Oh. BioGreen does it all, from weeds to micronutrients with synthetics and what do you call it? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, natural, <laughs> organic. That's okay. the word. Okay. Organic <laughs> fertilizers, and so it's really good. It increases the microbial strength of your yard, which makes everything work better, including oxygenation and root stimulation. And you want to you want to fertilize now that we we're going to get past this last potential freeze, and now's the time your lawn's going to start coming alive. But call them now while you can at two one zero. 421-9522 or go to biogreensa.com. Get on their schedule now mm -hmm. at biogreensa.com. And what's trending, Morgan? Well, um, so we love LVP at KN Builders. That's luxury vinyl plank flooring. But I've been seeing a new trend with everyone installing it. It's not a new trend, but it's a retro coming back. They're installing it in a herringbone pattern throughout the floors. And it just makes the, um, to me, you can get a less fancy floor, but you can use it, install it in that pattern, and you can make it look really, upgrade. really elegant. It upgrades it. Oh, yeah. Because uh -huh. well, you can take a, uh, just be kind of a normal pattern yes. into a very exciting. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, and it yes. just looks really, really modern lately, and... If you have, like what we're talking about, open concept areas, it makes a statement, a really, really beautiful statement in a, a really big area. So that's what's trending. Very good. <laughs> and, and yeah, that's, that's something we all need to be creative with, to get the styles you want for the least amount mm -hmm. of a budget. And that's something we're very good at at KM Builders, is working with your budgets to see, show you what will fit in different ways. So we're talking about opening it up and taking out walls and because that's just such a common request it's such a common need some people need it and don't know they need it but we talk about that when I when I go meet you at mm -hmm. your property and we do this consultation which is completely free of course and but you can sign up for that at kmbuilders.com virtually if you'd like to and you can also just call us at 680-5626 and we will set you up with a visit from me and We'll, we'll talk. We'll have a lot of fun talking about your project. I mean, it ends on a very, very excited level when we talk because you didn't. You learn things that you just didn't know, and of course, I just get excited because I love doing this and love meeting people. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of fun on those. And we talk about you know I go visit smaller projects, medium-sized projects, and very large projects. And people who've been with me will have told have told everybody he gets just as excited about the little ones. <laughs> and it is true because they're just you can make such a difference by doing things like opening up walls mm -hmm. so non-structural walls mean that they are there's no real heavy loads on them from above that that you can pull that wall out literally and nothing is going to sag or fall now you still have to patch the sheetrock mm -hmm. and sometimes and those floor. walls have electrical in them you've got to run those to the other walls and, and cap them if it has plumbing in them, you're going to have to cap it at the floor or, or move it to the wall, the, the other walls that are adjacent. So, but that doesn't mean that you can't pull the wall out. Mm -hmm. Non-structural walls are typically like closet walls, um, the little powder bath walls and stuff like that, right? Typically, yes, but there are a lot of exceptions, Morgan. And the, the time we see most often that larger walls can be removed, like um, the walls we were talking about earlier where you open up a kitchen to a dining or, uh -huh. or to a living room. These major walls that separate things are oftentimes removable in homes that have prefabricated trusses. That's the roof systems. How can you tell? Well, you have to get up in the attic to be okay. able to tell. And some people know that, other people don't know, and they wouldn't know it even if they looked in their roof. But mm -hmm. they're engineered members. And so what happens in, in home building with, with uh, large large home builders who build subdivisions um, especially on smaller homes where they're where they're very close to the same floor plans they will actually change the walls inside these structures however they want and the roofs are the same on all these different homes 
Oh. And the roof systems are pre-engineered so that the walls can go anywhere without... So they don't have to worry about it. So they're non-structural walls because all the structure is being supported in the roof. Oh. It supports itself. Basically what you're saying is that the roof and the ceiling system is self-supporting. Mm -hmm. It does not depend on the walls to support the roof and ceiling system. It's just the shell. The outside, the outside walls are all that are structural in those mm -hmm. situations. Now, there are some that have some of that, that some of the walls are non-structural, and then there's a few that are because they have some beams and some higher ceilings and so forth. Hmm. So like in mom and dad's house, mm -hmm. almost all the walls were, were non-structural walls on the inside. Oh, wow. Because so that means probably of, all of that neighborhood had that too. Right, and then you'll see that in that neighborhood. You'll see that the home, the walls are different locations, and the bedrooms are here, and the bathroom. But it didn't matter in yeah. those homes. How often um, did builders do that? Well, it's usually on the low, on the lower economy scale of homes. Okay. And they did that so that they could give varieties of floor plans to people without having to spend a lot of money on. Because if you do everything the same in a home, or let's say if you do something the same in a home for all your homes, mm -hmm. you save money as a builder. Yeah. And it makes it easier to build it too because everybody has the same plan no matter which one you're doing. It doesn't matter if you drop off this material for this house or went to the wrong house, it still works. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're doing home after home after home. Yeah. So those are typically called track builders. Yes. But there's a lot of exceptions and variations on this, both or even homes that are, are not track built, you mm -hmm. still get some of this. And sometimes in track built homes, you do have structural walls. And so this is not a common. Now I'll tell you where we see it the most often, if you wanted to kind of a rule of thumb. Typically, first floor of two story homes, are you have a lot more weight bearing walls. So in the second story? No, the first floor of the, of the two story home is very often struck the main walls, and the walls you want to take out are structural mm -hmm. walls. It happens way more often in those homes. Oh, okay. Because floor systems can't go as far as roof systems without bearing on walls. Mm. They can't carry the weight as far just by the size of them. Mm -hmm. So they end up having to bear on walls throughout the first floor. Yeah. And of course, you've got a lot of weight and people and furniture up on the second floor more than you do in an attic. Mm -hmm. And guess where the roof loads are going? Well, the roof loads are on top of that floor, and they're also transferring down to the first floor also. So it's a lot more weight on the first on the first floor of a two-story home, and you have to do more to take out structural walls. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, non-structural walls are easier. You can just completely remove them, then patch it, basically. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, we're going to talk about structural wall removal, the big, the big elephant in the room that you want to get out of there and how we do that. And just to put you at ease, we're, you know, we're going to talk about how it's to be done and what we go through, just so if you want it done, you'll feel confident. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mention our sponsor, Expel, because they worked on my car and my truck and my Lexus, my wife's Lexus. But they've also done work on many, many people's homes, and that's the protective window film that even prevents burglary, but it also prevents thermal conductivity. It reflects heat out and it also prevents UV damaging of your floors and furniture and even your clothing. So call them at 430-7712, 210-430-7712 and ask for Eric or go to expel.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Join Planet Fitness for $1 Should we get some of the $10 a month? For all that they did on screwing up our commercials. Mm -hmm. Man, this thing is just not just working. Sure we bring it to them, huh? Yeah. Instagram is just not working today. I'm just going to quit it. Whoops. Um, aren't we using Expel on one of our clients? It's Courtney's client. Expel? Yeah. Sound? Well, I don't know if it's expelled. That's why I was wondering if, uh, she, if you knew about it, if we had actually used it to spell for that. For yeah. this ridiculous project. No, I don't, think, I don't think so. I think we threw it in. Just twisting a little uh, grass together. Uh 
Oh, Leeds? Yeah, I forgot that he made it. As long. I think. Oh, now he's gonna use his ring. <laughs> amazing what you can do. Mm -hmm. But you kind of wish you had that knowledge too? I guess. He's making a little uh, pocket for the glass bottle to go into. But why? So you don't have to, you don't have to carry it everywhere. See? <laughs> I mean, that could be very practical if you're trying to make it through the woods, right? You don't want to carry it? Oh, and you have, like he, and you have to be occupied? With a you stick or climbing, a climbing, you know. Well, that guy lost it. So he was reduced to, because uh, he dropped it and it floated down the river, he had to do it that way now every time he got water. Mm -hmm. And you need it, depending on when you're trying to survive. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. You can wrap stuff together and make stuff. I mean, that's one I had. You know, when you're out somewhere, sometimes you find stuff that you can use. What? Trash. It's cold at night. He showed Bargo, did you see that? He broke the eyeglasses apart and made a magnifying glass out of it to start a fire. He took both lenses and put them together. Uh -huh. and I didn't see it. And he got something real fine that would burn. And he started it. It now got a fire going. Wow. But you have to do that before the sun goes down, right? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go into a little hot hut. Like we saw this last week. Make the little bows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stick them in the ground. It's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Sure would be worth it. Do it before it got cold. Get your fire going, and then work on that. Yeah, see, I know how to do this now. I just want to get into this situation. You just want to get into a situation. <laughs> There's our house theme again. <laughs> in case you didn't recognize it. Yep. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. We call it the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show because that is what we do every day in the real world. Um, not on the weekends as much, but sometimes we do it on the weekends too, right Morgan? Mm -hmm. And um, usually it's for, for our stuff though, when yeah. we do it on the weekends. Or if there's something we have to help out friends with, which we do quite a bit too. Well, it's going to be peak weekend project season coming up. Right? Yes, yes, it's going to be great weather soon, and we're all going to get our projects done, and we're all going to be live happily ever, ever after. <laughs> vaccinated, hopefully. Yeah. No, Everyone that, will get vaccinated, and we can just move on. <laughs> and that would be nice, too. Yeah. It? But we are taking your calls live at 737-1200 for our last segment, but we do want to get into the part about non, about structural walls. We've covered the, the non-structural. It's easy to take them out. And there are many of them in homes that people don't even realize that you can just take them out. But what do you do when at least 50% of them that we run across are structural? Mm -hmm. And then the numbers might actually be a little higher because I'll tell you why. There are non-structural walls that have a little bit of weight put on them. Like my little closet wall. That's right. When I went up to look at yours, there was some weight being distributed from the roof. Mm -hmm. And even though the ceiling was pretty non-structural, it wasn't bearing on there, the roof had some supports being placed on those areas. Mm -hmm. So you saw what we did. We added some, some joists and beams, and we, we got that taken care of. But it's, it's a job. Mm -hmm. It is a job to take that out. Oh yeah, Dad thought he could do it just himself and realized, hmm, it's gonna take, too take long. a long yeah, time. Yeah, getting up in the attic and taking those out so I got the boys over to do it <laughs> so I didn't have to work all weekend to do it. Yeah. 
and uh, they came over and knocked it out. So yeah. they are very good at it. And, and, and you know, it really enhanced my appreciation for how skilled our carpenters are. The way they can get into a place like that and, and just perfectly. Do it. And, and, you know, and, and I gotta say this, a lot of people don't do it where you can't tell it was done afterwards, but ours are just perfect. I mean perfect. Everything lines up, the ceiling looks like it never ever had a dip in it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about when you take out structural walls. You take out a structural wall, you better make sure it's done right. And so here's some of the things you have to do on structural walls. First of all, you have to build another wall. You know why? So that the other, when you're taking out the other wall, everything doesn't fall down. Yeah, you and can't just cut it open and start and working on the beam. You can't just take a wall out and slip the new beam in yeah. magically in an instant and it won't fall. All this weight that's bearing on it it's still would, literally, bearing. would literally collapse on top mm -hmm. of you or start sagging so much that you thought it was going to fall on you and do damage. So you have to build a structure, another structural just temporary it wall. Up. It's a structural temporary wall just beyond where you're taking like out the wall. Like a foot over? You should give yourself a couple of feet, oh, okay. uh, three feet, and then guess what? On the other side of where that structural wall is, you got to do it again. Oh. So you build two temporary walls on both sides of the wall you want to take out to hold that structure up temporarily while you put in the new support header structure beam, mm -hmm. i.e. beam, and uh, and that that is how you take out a structural wall. Of course, I'm not going to go into all the details of how you how you cut out a wall, but you know you don't want to just start cutting with saws and hitting electrical and and uh, plumbing and have water going everywhere. So you need to do some some test holes and know what's in these walls. And when you do cut, you still cut very, very carefully so you're not getting into those components so that you can expose all of those components and get your plumber electrician to come and remove those. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes, you know, like for example, we can remove that, but we're gonna shut off the water, we're gonna shut off the power to that area, and then we get the electrician to put it into the new wall. Mm -hmm. And that way it's out of the way. And so that's normally what a good demolition crew would do. A lot of people can't do that though. Um, and so you've got more trades coming in sooner, and it really slows it down if you don't know how to do those things. Mm -hmm. But we need to get in and get out and then let the next trades in and have their workspace, especially with the virus. We're giving people their space, but fortunately we know how to do that. But the point we want to make today is that if it needs to be opened up to look better, to change your life, and I tell you there are people that we are doing it for that are just absolutely floored by, by how much difference it makes. Just last week, I was talking to people about what could be done, and they were stunned. And so it's going to change your life when you open up things and remodel them. So you can open it up. You need There's so many places where you can have light transferring, even in small bathrooms, it can make a huge difference. But there's, you need to know whether it's structural, non-structural, and you better have a professional do it if it's structural. And even if it's not, don't, remember, don't forget, non-structural walls have electrical and plumbing in them sometimes. Mm -hmm. So that might be a problem if you're doing it yourself. We'd be glad to help you and guide you through it and make sure you don't make a mistake. But if you need us to do it, of course, or any part of it, we'd be glad to help you out. And that's true of any remodeling project. Mm -hmm. Just look at our website and see what Morgan has put together with her, her marketing team on the, on the website and on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Justin's videos are incredible. Uh, we got KM details. We've got a series of projects. What else would you say that's mm -hmm. on the web? Well, we just did a um, whole project series of where we took out and decompartmentalized a house in Elm Creek. And and do we have something listed for like uh, decompartmentalization? Or no, but like? that's a good idea. We should do that. <laughs> and what we do also have is videos on the dust proofing because we didn't mention this in our show today. Mm -hmm. But dust proofing is a huge part of taking out walls. You need to dust proof. Yep. And we have a whole system that we've designed for dust proofing to protect you and your family and your pets. Yep. Because drywall is uh, dusty yeah. when it comes out. <laughs> and a lot of other things are too. Yep. And so you, you're going to have to have someone do the floor repairs and the ceiling repairs, the sheetrock, the paint, but it's really, really great project. Dollar for dollar, I will say that it's probably the best value that you'll get in any remodeling project is to open it up. Yep. That's what we were talking about today, open it up. If you'd like to open it up, give us a call at 
480-5626. That's 680-KM-CO. Or you can sign up for our newsletter at friends at kmbuilders.com. Yes, and so if you want more information or those videos, just go to kmbuilders.com. And at KM Builders, we have designed the experience for you so you can experience the design. Have a great weekend, everybody. The preceding show was